I found some really good items at TJ Maxx. I also found some really exciting things at Ulta. I'm really, I'm just excited about this haul. Also, this is a try on haul. I'm excited, I hope you're excited. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then my name is Hannah and I upload beauty videos. I would love it if you stuck around and subscribed. Also, I know I just said, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. But just another little reminder, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. If you're excited to see what I got in my haul, make sure you keep on watching. Okay, this is the setup that we're at least going with today. I have my flannel candle from Bath & Body Works burning in the background. This is, to me is kind of like more, more like a fall color, even though it's sleeveless. I do live in Florida. As you can see, I already have my eye makeup done, just in case you are curious. I have, I'm using the Dose of Colors Friendcation Palette, the Desi and Katie collaboration. I love this palette. It's probably like one of my favorite palettes of all time, eyeshadow palettes. I don't know if you can see how well this is loved. And then on the inner corner, I have this gold color right here, which I believe is called, wait, no. Yeah, gold standard. This is a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. I do already have my moisturizer on. Anyway, so the reason that I didn't do my, like I was going to do my foundation and stuff like that first because I have some breakouts and I'm not happy about it and I don't wanna talk about it. But in one of this, like this little kit, which is the first thing that I'm going to show you that I got in my little haul from Ulta, I got, um, so I got, let me just show you, wow, okay, I put it in here because in the package it didn't come together, it just had a little slot for where the base tape can go, not base tape, where the shape tape can go, so I think whenever you spent a certain amount of money, I believe on the Tarte Shape Tape. Let me try not to move the camera too much. When you spent a certain amount of money um, during the time that I bought this, you got this little freebie. So you got three free minis, you got a little sponge, you got the little base tape, and then you got a little stay spray. And I did already open it up because I set this out to remind myself to use it. This is the base tape. This is specifically the hydrating primer. Personally, I have oily skin, but the foundation that I'm going to be using, which is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation, is a little bit thicker and kind of, I don't know, I feel like I can get away with a hydrating primer, or at least like that's the time that I can get away with a hydrating primer. So that's the foundation that I'm going to be using. And then the other things that came in the little kit came wrapped up in this little tissue paper. But anyway, this little sponge, can we talk about how cute this is? Like, this is adorable. I will wet this here in a second. Um, before I use it, but here's what it looks like up close. It has like two flat edges and then kind of a rounded um, base. An adorable sponge. And then the third thing you got was a mini stay spray. I do have the larger version of this. What size is this? This is the four fluid ounces. Personally, I like the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay better, but I will use this, especially for traveling. And it's in an adorable package as well. So, that's the first thing, the first items that I got from Ulta. And now let's prime my face. This is an interesting little applicator. It's pretty runny. I've never used this before. Never used this specific primer. But it does blend in nicely to the skin. I do like the packaging, um, especially like the cap. The packaging kind of matches the shape tape, but it's like different colors, you know? Ulta had 21 Days of Beauty. That is whenever I picked up most of the items. And then at the end, I have a few things from TJ Maxx that I'm going to show you. Seriously, some of probably the best deals that I have found at TJ Maxx. Very excited to show you what I got there. Um, but anyway, so I picked up an additional Shape Tape concealer. I like to obviously get it on sale. I believe full price it's $27, or if it's not $27, it's around $27. So this was 50% off, and I already have one open. I actually, I'm, okay, this is like mostly used up, but I do still have one that I'm kind of working on a little bit. They're both 16N. But I mentioned this in my uh, makeup storage uh, like organization video, which I will link for you if you haven't seen that. I don't know, like does anyone else start using another product before you fully use up the other one because you have a backup? 
I'm, I've mostly used up that um, other shape tape, but I'm definitely not going to open this one up until I do completely use up the other one, and then I will use up the second one, because I do have quite a bit of this left, but like I said, I wanted to get, use a get, get, I wanted to get a backup of this. I've been using this concealer for a long time, so I was really, really excited to get that. I am going to do my foundation really quick, and then I'll be right back. Normally, I don't use a makeup sponge whenever I'm applying my makeup. I usually use um, a brush. I recently got, here it is, I recently got this brush from Rare Beauty that I've been using to apply my under eye concealer, but I did just wet this and this is what it looks like now. I think I'm going to use the flat side to apply, no, the bottom to apply my um, concealer. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 16N. The same shade that I did get um, a backup, but I'm obviously I'm using the one that I've already opened, or one of the ones I've already opened. Okay. It does blend easily, and since it's wet, it, and this is like a thick concealer, it blends easier than using a brush. But I kind of want to do a second layer or here here's the difference between this eye and this eye this eye has a concealer blend with a sponge and then this eye does not I'm going to go ahead and do another layer though oh and then um, I don't wear foundation very often so I'm kind of trying to see if I can tell how this foundation looks compared to my normal primer that I've been using. Recently I've been using a primer from Becca whenever I apply foundation. Um, I think it blended nicely with it. I don't know, maybe it would be at least somewhat hydrating. This is just the first time I'm using that primer. I guess I should do a second layer on this eye since I did a second layer on the first eye. Maybe let me try to use... My chin is kind of broken out. I normally apply concealer on my nose as well. I went and did the rest of my makeup except for my mascara because I have, I have, I'm really excited about my mascara. One of the things that I picked up from the 21 Days of Beauty was this Lancome Lash Primer, specifically mascara base. This is what the box looks like. I have used a travel size of this before. And one time I bought the larger size, but then I didn't like it. But then I used the travel size again and then I liked it. So, all of that to say, I'm excited and I hope that this works out well. And I also bought the Lancome Monster Big Mascara and maybe the two of them together will be a better pair. Um, this is actually a backup. I recently opened up another Lancome Monster Big Mascara. So that is what I'm going to be using. First, I'm going to curl my lashes. Also really quick, I did use that Tarte Stay Spray to set my face. Um, and then I, I was thinking, I don't know, maybe I'm just more used to the Urban Decay one, or that's just the one that I use more, but either way, I did use the Tarte Stay Spray to set my face, but I used the one that I already opened, not this cute little guy that I will use at some point. Okay, so whenever I open this up, this is what it looks like. It is a white mascara base. And then right after going in with the mascara,
And then for the other eye, I'm not going to use the mascara base and see if I can tell a difference. Trying to go quick because I don't want this to dry, but right now this is the difference between the eyes. This one has the mascara base. And I probably applied more mascara on this eye than I did on the other eye, um, at least initially, but like I said, I don't want this to dry. So I'm trying to like work quickly. Like you can see that the mascara is still good without the mascara base. The mascara base just makes your lashes um, more voluminous, I think. Um, I think that this eye is almost done because I don't want it to start getting clumpy. But that is a crazy, like, volume and length. I am going to do another coat on the eye without the mascara base. And yeah, like the one with the mascara base, I think I could get the lashes a little bit longer. But see right now, without it's looking, the one without the mascara base is looking more voluminous, but I think I kind of went a little bit too far and I maybe should have stopped a little bit sooner on this eye because I like my, eye, my lashes to look voluminous and long. Um, let me get this mascara off the bottom that I got accidentally there. Here is kind of an upper close, more up close comparison. This has the lash primer, lash base, whatever it's called, and this one does not. It just has the mascara. Like I said, they're both good mascaras, so I think that the eye without the lash base still looks good as well, but I am really glad that I got this eyelash primer as well, whatever it is called. It is... Wait. Mascara base. That's what this is, the mascara base. I, am, I was excited to get that because I did get it for 50% off. But we are not done with the haul. Remember, I have really exciting things from TJ Maxx to show you. So if you're excited to see what I got there. And if you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, so TJ Maxx. On the clearance section, I got this everyday medium body lotion for medium to dark. Skin, um, like as in it makes your skin medium to dark. It's a self tanner. This is a self tanning lotion from Saint Tropez. I got this for three dollars, and I didn't just get one. I got two. Um, this one was for medium to dark. This is for light to medium. I'm going to use both of them, even though I'm very fair skin naturally. You don't have to tell me. I know. I'm aware of the situation. So I got both of those for three dollars each, and and that's not it. No, I also got one of the face self tanners also for three dollars if you hear milo barking i apologize but i'm almost done filming so i'm just going to continue filming and maybe i can talk louder than he barks anyway this is for the i think light to medium yeah this is for light to medium right now i'm using the jergens self tanner so i haven't started using this yet but you get 1.6 fluid ounces and it, it's just like obviously like a cute smaller version of the one for your body and i got that for three dollars as well and i was just so excited for those finds i also did share these on my instagram story the day that i got them so just a little you know if you want to follow me there feel free to follow me there as well but anyway i was really really excited to get these and apparently people don't want to be tan in the winter like i get it but like i still want to be tan and i live in florida so i don't know i was really excited to find those for sure if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up once again it really helps me out also if you like this video i recommend checking out my makeup storage organization video that i mentioned earlier i will link that right here for you guys once again thank you so much for watching feel free to stick around and subscribe and i will see you in my next video